My shoes will be thankful that the Royal is virtual this year, but of course, we will miss it being down there. Let's talk specifically, though, about what we're going to see. Hard to believe we're talking about the Royal with temperatures that we had today, 24 degrees. It's all because of this big mid-latitude cyclone now, that one classic comma shape to it, big warm front across northern Ontario, and then that cold front moving through the Chicago area. That is what's on the way throughout the overnight tonight. All that snow and that potential for freezing rain going to get lifted well to the north. We're going to stay into the mile there all the way through the overnight tonight. The rain will arrive by around 3.30 with the first batch, likely going to see that continuing until about 6.30, and then it should clear out. We'll get into some sun sunshine throughout the afternoon. Temperatures will be temperate, but they're going to be falling as we go through the day, starting off at about 18 degrees and then dropping down to about 13 throughout the afternoon. You can be outside the next couple of days and they would be typically pretty nice November days if we weren't coming off of this incredible stretch of never before seen November weather. So It'll be nice, but just not as nice. 18 is how we start the day. Midday, we've got temps that'll be down to about 16 at that point, continuing to fall to 13 by the afternoon, sunny and breezy. Wash the car now, hold off by the weekend. That's the plan because we do have dry conditions. And again, you can wash the car tomorrow morning as long as you do it after 6.30. Remembrance Day uh, ceremonies happening. Those will be dry here across the GTA, a little on the breezy side. 11 expected on Thursday, 10 on Friday. A cool day on Saturday to kick off the weekend. Scattered showers through the day on Sunday, and then another cool down coming our way for the first part of next week. That is a check on your forecast.